So here we have our first test cuts. Um, we've sped this video up two times to make it a little bit shorter, but we have a solid piece of cherry that's 23.12 millimeters in thickness, equates to about 15 sixteenths of an inch. We cut our first test at five millimeters a second and 70% power. Each line is 70% power. Uh, starting at five millimeters, which you see here, and then going to two millimeters a second to see which one would cut through. Um, in addition, in additional tests, uh, we kept this, uh, we upped the power, but kept the same speeds. That way we could see any differences in the cuts. For our second round of test, again, we upped the power to 100% and maintain the same speeds of five through two millimeters a second. This way, here in a moment, we can actually see some of the differences. Uh, I also wanted to see if there was a difference in the 70% power versus 100% power, uh, just picking those randomly. And again, the, the test cut and the first line are both at five millimeters a second. Uh, finishing out to two millimeters a second. Okay, so two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeters, five millimeters a second. Same on here. This one's 70% power. This one is 100% power. Maximum power with 95% min power. We're going to flip it and we're going to look at the backside of it. So on 100% power, it looks like the one and the two, two and three. So, or I'm sorry, two millimeters and three millimeters did cut through, not cleanly. And then for the 70% power, the two millimeters, uh, I can see the score mark here. So we're going to try it at one millimeter a second with 100% power. And then... Um, Again, this was with stock air. This is not with adding an air compressor. So unfortunately, I don't have an air compressor to hook up to this to test if this is going to uh, change by adding, you know, 25, 35 per uh, PSI to, to help. Okay, so here are our first two tests uh, cutting uh, solid cherry. Let's see if I can zoom in so everybody can see. We're talking... 23.12 millimeter stick or 15 sixteenths. Uh, you can see we cut cut down it so that we could look at what the actual cuts look like on the inside and how thick they are. So starting with the first one. It's the 70 mil 70 percent power. And then we went five, four, three, and two millimeters a second so that we can, we can look and see. Now, as I rotate that, we're at 70% power. I can look and see that it almost made it through. You can see the, mark, the burn marks here from the laser and then how deep it penetrated on each one. So let's look at two millimeters a second. And it appears two millimeters a second. The cleanest part of it went about 15 millimeters. Let's go over here to five millimeters a second and the cleanest part went to about 10, or the, the thickest kerf, and then we're talking 16 millimeters deep. As we look over here at 100% power, we're generally looking at five millimeters a second. Uh, the final edge of the cut was about 17 millimeters deep. And then for two millimeters a second, we have about 17 to about here, and then you can see the final cuts when we look at the back side of it. 
we can see that at 100% power, two millimeters a second gave us a mark on the back side of it as it almost cut through. And then three millimeters a second did about the same. At 70% power, we have we can see the exit on the two millimeters a second. So all in all, when we talk about cutting thick, this is solid cherry, uh, and it did not have any of the sapwood in it. So it was straight heartwood. This was another test that kind of failed miserably. This was 100% power in one millimeter a second. So we don't really want to do that. Uh, two seems to be, two and three seems to do fairly well. Now, my opinion, say we add external air, this may be better. Uh, two passes, but two passes is going to give you a whole lot more charring on the on the cut itself. So this is the thickest piece that we tried. Uh, we cut a lot of cherry on the 130 watt glass tube and we wanted to see what the 60 watt RF tube would do. Okay, here's the, uh, we're going back with the 100% test. This is three quarter inch maple cabinet grade plywood. And there's smoke coming out from the bottom, it looks like. So here we go, this is the 100% test. Um, I was hoping I could just pop that. Let's flip it over and see what it looks like. So I'm pretty sure that if we had external air that that would have probably cut through. Um, but again, we always know that lasers don't like the glue. Yes, this is interior and cabinet grade plywood. Uh, you can see the tick marks from the honeycomb. A couple of things missing here. All in all, I don't think it's a bad test, uh, but it is definitely not a 130 watt glass tube. But for a 60 watt RF tube, I think it's doing pretty good. So after looking at that, we just kind of went to the backside of it with our thumbs. So in theory, it did cut all the way through. It just needed a little bit of help. Now let's move on to three quarter inch uh, cabinet grade maple plywood. Same tests. We just went ahead and skipped the 70%, went to the 100%. Uh, two, three, four, and five. With a little bit of effort, we managed to get that to pop free. And we can look at the edges. The edges are darker. You can see where it a little bit wanted to stick there. But at 100% power and two millimeters a second with the four inch lens, on the 60 watt RF tube, you physically can cut three quarter inch maple cabinet grade plywood. Let's look at the backside real quick. So again, we have five, four, three, and two. All of them almost made it through. Uh, again, when we push this out, it took a little bit of energy, uh, but it did pop pop out. So this is solid poplar, uh, 20, 
23.99 millimeters thick. And we can see here with the two, three, four, and five at 100% power, uh, what the cuts look like on the outside. I could not get that to cut through, but we're gonna flip this. So we can see at two millimeters a second that it left a little bit of a mark. Same here. So that's five did not, four almost, three did fairly well, uh, and two did pretty good. Again, solid poplar, 23.99 uh, millimeters thick. So a little thicker than the cherry. Uh, again, solid wood. All in all, I don't think the 60 watt RF tube does a bad job. Uh, it did better than I expected it to do, that's for sure. Here's some final thoughts on the 60 watt RF tube uh, that Thunder has in their Nova Pluses. Uh, fantastic little tube. For, for a 60 watt RF tube, I think it did a great job. Um, we were trying to cut thicker than most people would want to, just to prove a point. But when you start looking at pre-milled three-quarter inch, uh, I think that four-inch lens, maybe adding ex external air could help. Um, but all in all, I think it did a fantastic job uh, for what you see with the, the wattage. Now, we have experience with all glass tubes. Most of our cuttings done on 130 watt. We have zero issues. Um, but again, I, I think that addition to the 60 watt RF tube that Thunder has now in their pluses uh, does a fantastic job. So again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something from this. If you got any questions, feel free. Uh, as always, if you wish to like and subscribe, go right ahead. Uh, that is completely up to you. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day.